Hi there, welcome to this unboxing. This is for the Kickstarter edition of Shadow Star Corsairs. Um, this turned up yesterday. It got held up for quite a number of weeks by Idea Spatcher in France. Um, but Ryan Wolf has uh, he, he's done a really good Kickstarter here. Uh, in, he's an independent designer publisher. He started out, if, I, if I'm right, with doing real smart deck plans for these ships, um, uh, for different ships, spaceships and stuff that look really cool, and he's m developed and, ma and uh, made this game. So, Shadow Star Corsairs, let's take a look in the box. Now, one thing unusual, straight away, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? I, I, there was, um, he did surveys on Board Game Geek for uh, who liked the best sort of cover art, and I think this is superb, this one. Um, it's got a Kickstarter exclusive uh, miniature in there, I think, and um, its weightage is it's really heavy, so, so, so that, that was good. Now, the first thing out of all the unboxing and all the games we've had over the many years, this is the first one that's come in shrink. I noticed this with the box upside down, see? So, there's the upright there, and of course, if I turn it round, it's upside down. So somebody's put the box at the lid the wrong way round, and that's I know it's nothing, <laughs> it's going to get sorted straight away, but uh, it's the first time I've ever seen it, so that's a bit quirky. Right, let's dive into this box. Quite a meaty game, I think, but quite accessible too, from what I've read. It's getting some good reports as well. Um, let's get into this. Let's take this off here. Good, nice, strong, substantial box. Great artwork. Right. So first off, look at this. We got. I mean, the artwork is lovely, isn't it? So we got the rules book. Let's have a look. Lovely new smell coming from this box. Quite a lot of contents in here. Apparently the ships are looking like they're going to be really good. We've got sector tiles, and player mats. And from what I've read online, the rule book is pretty well done. I don't think there's many complaints there. Ryan's put an FAQ uh, up on the Geek. Very vibrant colours, isn't it? That's one thing that struck me about this game when they seen the matte sectors on uh, online. It looked really different. So there's the rule book, and here's the law book. It's telling me about the ship classes here, the shuttle and the Clydesdale, Kestrel, Scarab, Renegade, Crucible. Nice touch, isn't it? So you really get into character with the game. Which is your uh, space sectors of space. These are the different parts in, in on the sectors. Really nice, isn't it? That's a nice touch, that. That's the law book. Now what have we got? Uh, this is a... Some people call them a cheat sheet. I don't know why they're called cheat sheets, because no, they're not to cheat, are they? I don't really like that. It's a player aid, I would guess. Um, and what I do like, it's highly unusual, because normally I have a little corner rounder, and I normally clip the corners to make them rounded. And this has already got rounded corners. That's a nice touch. And it's got like a... A linen finish, really good, decent quality player aid. Now let's have a look here. That's handy, isn't it? Let's <laughs> poke through. So the, a couple of tokens come out, but uh, wow, look, you can see where the weight's coming in this game. Look how packed it is. Oh, it's got an excellent box insert as well. That's handy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, loads of stuff in there. No wonder, look, it's so compact. Uh, we've got these nice tokens here 
three uh, lots of punch board sheets. Let's have a look at these. These go on the ship stands, don't they? Uh, and then the pegs go through to determine the player colour. I say it's decent quality fitness. So there's one sheet. I'm going to punch really early, uh, early, <laughs> really easy. Um, let's have a look. There's another sheet. These would be full, but bits have fell out. So, which is always a good sign because they're punching nice and clean. Very cleanly punched, almost punched all the way through, which is nice. There's no nasty nibs on them, and they're not all cornered and stuff. So, good quality tokens there, good design. Let's get deeper into this box. There's such a lot in here. Right, where are we going to go next? Should we go for these player sheets that uh, uh, got a wrap on them? Let's have a look. There we go. Is the player mats. Five of them. Dual sided. And they're nice, decent. They're going to line up nice and flat. They're not. Um, sometimes you get like thick board and they're just all over the show. The guy bent and twisted and what have you, but these uh, I quite like this sort of stuff. It's always going to be nice and easy and, and lay flat. And if it doesn't, you can just give it a little bit of uh, persuasion. So the player boards, nice artwork on them. I like it. I like the iconography on them. Pretty cool. I like the vibrant colours they've used in this game and um, the, the colour scheme they've gone with ships and all and, and stuff like that. So here's the sector, but look at this. Look at this. So that is nice, isn't it? Let's get rid of these bits that fell off the punch boards. But look at that. So you've got all your sector boards there. And then underneath that, you've got purpose made compartments for card decks and stuff. That is really nice, isn't it? So no wonder that's where all the weight is. Now let's look at these sector boards. Dual sided, and they're glorious really really nice so you're going to have a different game uh, set up each time but the colours and everything on these is just phenomenal isn't it it's just totally different um, to what you to what we come to expect we've got some really nice brave uh, colour choices here I think let's have a look let's get some of all the reds and the pinks and the purples I think it's really nice and I think that's as many as you've had, you'd have in a two-player game. There would be your area of space, and you've got to build up resources and uh, pol politics, and get uh, points. Is it reputation points or something similar? Um, lots of them, isn't there? Really nice. Good quality, love the colours. Right, let's get further into here. Still a lot of stuff to go. So we've got this stuff here now. These are the ships. Uh, blueprints, if you like, I think, or whatever they will be called. But these are to match the ships that you would have out. We're going to get onto them in a minute. So we've got the Ironmonger. Port Cadmus, the dual sided, these are great. The Dark Forge and the Lyce, Lyceum, Lyceum, alien ship. He's going to wander around attacking everything, I think. Confederation, the Griffin, yeah. JMS Powell, Vengeance, that's a cool ship, isn't it? 
Joe Lynn. Uh, Christiana's Revenge. Christiana's Fortune. Chun Li. The Winchester. Uh, Kepri. CSS uh, Luch, Luch Singer. Icarus. Kid Icarus. Midnight Rose. Thunder Child. Great looking ship. Black Kai or Key. Shadow Kai. HMT 0925B and HMT, HMT 0925. Kagawa's Folly. And then we've got player aid sheets here. With shuttle, showing you what shuttle's on one side. Wow. And we haven't finished yet. Such a lot of contents in here. It's tons to go. Player decks, uh, decks of cards, I should say. Let's put those there. Ooh, these, not seen this type of cubes before. We'll get into them in a second. And then we've got all this plastic here. Got dice. Wow. Tons of contents in a nice compact box. Let's have a look. Right, where are we going first? Let's have a look at these cubes. We've not seen this type. CG do some fantastic cubes, but to be fair, these are even nicer than their cubes. A bit larger, and there's no like bubbles in them or anything. And they're translucent. They're really nice quality blue, blue and uh, orange cubes. Lots of. We've got these uh, dice for combat. Combat's not a, a look fest. There is modifiers and all sorts on your ships. But then you can get pluses and minuses on combat. And they're nice, aren't they? Um, let's have a look at some of these ships. What how I mean, look at this. All pre-painted stuff. Really nice. And these are going to go on the flight stands. They've got holes to go on the flight stands. Really cool. I'm actually grinning now because this has been this is such a cool stuff and a great price as well. Look at these ships. And with the flight stands, I mean these could be used in any sort of space game, couldn't they? They're pretty good. This video is already taking a bit of time purely because there's so much stuff. We haven't even done all the cards and stuff yet. It's unbelievable the amount of stuff. So let's get into here. So there's the red players um, bits and pieces. Got the little ships here. They don't go on flight stands. Uh, the little crew personnel. They're great, aren't they? See them with the little guns and stuff. Really nice quality. Now they're quite an orangey colour and that brings me to this. Ryan, they didn't come out how he wanted. Now I like that. I like the fact that these are quite an orangey colour. And uh, yeah, here we go. Free of charge, just for the cost of delivery. He had others made that were more in his vision. Oh, and I got extra dice there as well. And I got these. These came before the game. It's got a couple of extra dice there. And so you can either play with the orange or the red. You see, there's quite a bit of a difference. I personally like the orange. You can play with orange and red I guess really so we've got the red ones here as well and then there's some of the people that may not I love that purple colour don't you Donna you'd play with that wouldn't you but then there's this darker colour which is more I don't know what colour would you call that brown so we've got so many options here there's a dark purple I'd say but I love this uh, lighter purple it's really nice and we got white. Let's get them all out. Come on, let's do this. Got the white here, really nice, like a nice polar white. Great detail. Just put such ships on these. So, with the colours uh, of these sheets, where are we? Let's just say 
There's the, let's go for yellow. No, not them. It's the ones with the holes in it. So let's go for a white. That's not going to show off to good effect. Let's go for a purple. Does it work like that, I think? Oh, look, they fit in great into those. And then a ship goes onto the flight stand. Like they're going quite well. Look. There we go. It just sits on the top. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Should we put another one together? Let's have a little look. Let's go for one of these blues. The flight stand. Um, where's the more with the squares? In? Oh, here. There's a red. I, I, I mean, I don't know whether these colours go together, but I'm just doing it for effect. Let's put one of these in. They're really good, aren't they? A nice uh, moulding underneath them as well. Um, so we've got the yellow. I really like the yellow as well. I'm loving the colours. I mean, some of my favourite colours in board games is orange, purples. I like the orange and I like the purples and I like the yellows. And they're all in here. Look at all these ships. You get in here. There's tons of them. They're fantastic quality. Look at that. Pre-painted. They're smart, aren't they? Really smart. Surprised there hasn't been more uh, people going on about how good these ships are. They're absolutely awesome. I mean, they'd be fantastic in some games, these other games. I'm thinking Merchant of Venus, or uh, um, even, well, I don't think Eclipse, but yeah, really good. Look at these huge ships here. Look at these guys. Take one of those off, put it on the flight stand, whoa, absolutely cracking. So that's the ships, the blue as well, tons and tons of stuff as you can see. Let's have a quick look at these cards, just so we've done the whole thing. Component wise it's just astounding isn't it? Uh, we've got these nice orange cards here, great linen finish. Really good quality. You can see like the bond in there. Vibrant colours. Really like that. Love the artwork on these. It's almost like a retro. Digitised. I, I, I really like it. There we go. Let's zoom through them quick. They're great quality. I, do, I absolutely do not think they need, need sleeving. Let's look at this deck. So these are the contract cards. One way of getting uh, points. Fulfilling these. Like objectives to do in the game. And there's an absolute ton of them. If your personnel level is 4 or higher and a crew to one outpost Add a crew to one outpost or cargo hold you control, space permitting. Just different contract cards, tons and tons of them. And the final card deck, let's have a look at this. Amazing all this fits in that box, isn't it? It's what a good box organiser does. Right, great quality cards. I love the artwork, it's so vibrant, which fits in with the whole thing of the game. It's going to have great table presence, this. Espionage. Wow. I mean, to be fair, seriously, this is twice as good as I even expected, the component-wise. I think it just looks glorious. And there's such a lot of stuff. And these ships are a revelation. They're fantastic. I've got all these there uh, for the ships. The player pieces are phenomenal. The cubes are phenomenal. The board sectors are just amazing, brilliant, really love the colours, so strikingly different. Look at all this stuff over here and the tokens, the box organisation, organiser, the artwork, looks phenomenal. Um, really, really great looking space game, that is Shadow Star Corsairs from Ryan Wolf. Thanks for watching.